I know your thoughts. What it is you fear? You fear of no escape. So why do you hide? Your shame is misplaced. Mrs. Kiyosovsky, when I first saw your daughter, Valerie, she was on the front porch playing her piano. Such grace, such delicacy, her fingers dancing across the keys. They reminded me of something a friend confessed to me. My friend, Mrs. Kiyosovsky, was orphaned by war, left to the street with another scavenger as his only friend. When the supplies ran low, they were the first to starve. Weak and hungry, my friend took a knife to the other boy's throat and proceeded to taste. Oh, it was sweet. The taste of meat on a stomach two weeks empty. It made him lose all reason. He ate him down to his fingers. So, as I gazed upon your daughter, I could not remove my friend's words from my mind. I was... Enchanted. How she did kick, bite, and scratch to no avail. behind until blood pooled from her legs to make sure the meat was nice and tender. into small pieces and took the meat to my kitchen. Rest assured, your worst fears have not come to pass. Your daughter died a virgin. I don't know what I ever did to deserve my beautiful baby girl. She came out so perfect. Such craftsmanship, that which went into her delicate design. I cannot bear the thought of losing it. My little girl. My sweet little girl. I can feel my heart stop in my chest, and my breath tighten at the thought she would one day be fully grown. That day, even in the distant future, already brings a lump in my throat. I cannot swallow. 
My body shakes uncontrollably. Sobs of joy at seeing her go. Sobs of sorrow for losing her. Sobs of fear for entrusting her to another. Sobs of rage should she lose her children as well. Not my girl. My sweet little girl. I will not lose her. She's the one that finally came out just perfect. I love her so much, I cannot afford to ever lose her. Not to mishap, not to another, not to strife. I have to keep her here, keep her perfect, keep her forever with me. My girl, my sweet little girl. I might need to tighten up the stitching, but at least she's safe. Safe here, with the family. My girl, my sweet little girl. I find your passions ever so inviting. And yet, you feel the need to avoid, to make peace, to do something, anything to delay the inevitable. Sakshat Kar Number 3 Rogi, Bara, Rogi, Tera, Shuru. So what do you believe the experience helped you achieve? Well, I believe it taught us how to be excellent hosts. This is absolutely exquisite. Is that a hint of nutmeg I'm tasting? Yes, yes it is. My dear brother, I must say, your palate is remarkable. And you flatter me with such a cunning tongue. Should I be delighted or offended? Why not both? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not following. How exactly were you hospitable? Well, in order to get the meat tender, the animal needs to remain as stress-free as possible. And how did you accomplish that? Drugs. I must say, I do believe a Merlot would be a more appropriate pairing with this cut of meat. Exactly, but what type of cut is this? It appears to be a shoulder cut. And it's so tender. Fantastic! Uh, brother, don't tell anyone, but I believe you've really outdone yourself on this one. I'd have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, what have I been thinking? Would you care to taste? Brother, that's uncalled for! You know, she's a vegan. Yes, of course. I'm so forgetful. I do apologize. Avocado salad. That. That. An inspiring, yes. I agree, it was. An exceptional evening. Indeed. You do realize that the consistent consumption of human meat can lead to cerebral degeneration, right? Well, I believe... That. The science is still out on that one. Ah, uh, but of course, we are here, so perhaps it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but why? Uh, I beg your pardon? Why would you do that to another human being? Well, that's precisely why, isn't it? We are human. That's what we do. It's, it's in, in our, our nature. nature. You expect your humanity to save you. But your humanity brought you here. Your kind never disappoints.
When iniquity comes knocking at your door.